Oh, so now the talking pink fox who's a fan of DreamWorks Trolls is gonna preach to us about the MLP franchise? My Little Pony Friendship is Magic lasted practically the whole decade. It didn't go up till 2020, but it went from 2010 till 2019 with eight seasons, three movies, a spin-off with a couple of movies, and a lot of shorts. Not to mention a huge comic series run that's still going on, even though the show ended. So MLP didn't get canceled or anything like that. Friendship is Magic successfully ended and concluded. So really, you could easily go back to the what started it all with Friendship is Magic. So really, Friendship is Magic never really ended. If you could go back and rewatch it, read it, etc., etc., there's a lot of content you could still enjoy from the Friendship is Magic franchise. I brought this up numerous times on this channel. I never grew up with cable television. The only thing I had if I wasn't over at a relative's house to watch cable or buying DVDs of said shows that are on cable, I would pretty much watch PBS Kids and the Cubo Network. Those were the two 24-7 channels that had animation uh, to watch. Because of that, you know, there were shows aimed at little ones that were pretty good for all ages. I feel like the one that I could easily bring up uh, that anyone could know is definitely Arthur. The thing is, people don't really talk about little one shows that are aimed for everyone. This is something that's not normalized. And MLP normalized it. And the reason why is... The creators, this is the easiest way to say it, the creators gave a damn about making a really great toy show that had great characters and morals. In terms of MLP, if you strip away the two-parters, except for the season one one, we're, we're just going to keep that one. You strip away those two-part pilot episodes, the two-parters much later on, you strip away that, and you strip away the world building and you kind of keep the more splice of life episodes of the show. MLP really isn't special. It's like other TV shows in that nature. But MLP, the thing that makes it special is that there was a lot of love and care for not only the kids in the audience, but the whole family, and that's what makes the show special. The show got popular because of this reason. Over time, people grew out of the fandom, but also at one point, MLP took a very long hiatus. So because of that, people jumped to other shows. Those other shows were story-driven and heavily continuity-based. MLP was slowly doing this, but it was far too late because people were already moving on. Now, there are people in the fandom that still stayed, but because animation was changing around MLP's time, these type of shows didn't matter anymore because story-driven was the future. And there's no issue with this at all. I don't think that's a problem. But it's very noticeable when the fandom kind of says, Ah oh, man, because of Pony Life, they don't make shows like MLP anymore, and that's far from the truth. It's just that people aren't watching it. You got the both versions of The Littlest Pet Shop, you got the 2016 version of DC Superhero Girls, you got Trolls That Beat Goes On, you got Lego Friends on a Mission, you got Polly Pocket, there's a whole bunch of shows or movies, because Trolls is a movie also, 
there's a lot of things that took inspiration from MLP success and added it into their show being drastically different, but taking the notes that MLP left so that way they can be successful. Or in this case, nobody's talking about it, but they're doing all the right things MLP did, but making sure that their show is a success in their own thing as well. So really, there are things that are similar to MLP that you can watch instead of Pony Life if you feel like it's so drastically different. There are other alternatives you can be watching. The French of His Magic era of ponies is done. The book closed and it's its own it's in its own little bubble. Pony Life is drastically different. Has the same characters and locations, art direction and whatever the storytelling is going to be, it's clearly drastically different. We don't have any clips or anything like that, but from what we've seen so far, it's drastically different. Pony Life is in its own bubble. It's not touching Friendship is Magic at all, but it just so happens to have the same characters and locations, but it's in its own little bubble. It's not Friendship is Magic. Friendship is Magic ended on its own terms. It ended on its own terms. I want to very much make this like in bold statements. Friendship is Magic ended on its own terms. Teen Titans, on the other hand, got canceled. Years later, Teen Titans Go! happened. But both of these shows are in two different multiverses because Teen Titans Go! Uh, in versus Teen Titans is a movie about the multiverse and how these two are completely different and separate from one another. Now, I get it. Pony Life has a simplistic art style, just like Teen Titans Go. It's a little bit cartoony, like Teen Titans Go. And, ah, Thundercats roar, bean mouth faces. Ah, insert Cal Arch joke here. I get it. I get the worry there. I totally do. But do you guys know what Teen Titans Go is? Because... Teen Titans Go! has very cynical and mean-spirited characters, uh, and everyone is a complete jerk to one another, unless the plot calls for them to not be jerks to one another. Also, they're very, very rude to the criticism that the show gets and faces. Do you know what MLP is? Because MLP, from the Friendship is Magic era, it's about love, tolerance, and friendship, good morals, etc., etc. Now, we have no idea what Pony Life even is. We have some ideas, but we don't have clips to really determine the quality quite yet. So, people are already jumping the gun with this whole Teen Titans Go statement. But I think it's just incredibly wild that this whole Teen Titans Go conversation is being had because why? Why in the world would Hasbro, the people who are working on the animation, um, the writers, uh, Discovery Family, uh, the MLP as an MLP brand as a whole, why would they literally tarnish what their goal originally was in French was Magic. Why would they destroy that branding that everyone has known since the year 2010? Why would they destroy that to be like Teen Titans Go? That's the question we should be having right now. Now, again, as I stated before, I we don't have anything. We have nothing except for promo art. We don't have episodes, we don't have clips, we don't have anything. But I think we should be asking the question, what is Friendship is Magic and what is Teen Titans Go? Because, again, why would ponies want to be like Go? Because to me, 
That makes no sense. And being like Go, for other shows and other things, it's clearly not working. Go just got lucky. So if Go is not really, it's controversial, that's the best word to say. If Go is controversial all over the board, and other shows want to follow suit, you know, you're taking a gigantic risk. And I don't think Ponies wants to take the go route and really risk it all. I do my head toss, check my nails. Baby, how you feeling? Good head toss, check my nails. Baby, how you feeling? Good now, if Pony Life is being compared to the worst cartoon ever made, I actually like Teen Titans Go, but for the sake of this video, Teen Titans Go bad. Why are they comparing it to two other toy shows currently airing right now? In my opinion, Pony Life is similar to Unikitty. Now, the Unikitty show takes the Unikitty character from the movie and adds a bit more to her personality, but pretty much flanderizes the personality that we saw in the Lego movie. And the rest of her characters are completely original, but they fall under certain tropes and archetypes, and they pretty much parody the fact that they are these archetypes, and these characters bounce off each other very well, and it causes for a lot of good funny character moments, character interactions, and funny interactions with the world and plot they're thrown into. Luckily, MLP pretty much has the work done for them. The main six already have characters. I feel like this show is probably going to flanderize it, but not like Teen Titans Go, but flanderize the characterizations in the best possible way because these characters already have the work done from them, in Friendship is Magic, now the main six are thrown into a modern comedy cartoon. So now that means we will get very funny situations with the characters we already know and love. And I can definitely tell that there's a lot of care going into it. I mean, literally, look up the people who are working on this show. They know how to do comedy pretty well. Not to mention, work with pre previously existing characters. One of the people working on it works on Rise of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, so I think we're in pretty good hands. Now, if I had to compare it to another show currently airing, well not airing because it ended, but we're going into a new era, is Trolls the Beat Goes On, and I know I'm going to get a lot of eye rolls with that one, but hear me out. So, Trolls of Because On is very much like MLP in terms of, hey, we got a big group of characters, and we got some morals at the end of the day, but not every episode has a moral at the end of the day. Some episodes are just there to be fun, and I think maybe Pony Life might be taking a, note, a few notes from Trolls of Beat Goes On. It can still be like the original Pony episodes where they're pretty splice of life, but they could be splice of life, but with a lot more comedy into it. Or heck, there might not even be a moral, it's just that there could be a moral present, but the comedy is more so taking the forefront. So, honestly, I'm pretty hype with these two comparisons that are a lot better than Go. I think we're in for a pretty good ride, and... This might easily be just as good as these two shows I mentioned, and I absolutely adore those shows. They're like Spectre fave material, so I got high hopes for Pony Life. I'm going to dial it down a lot because we don't have a trailer, we don't have clips, we, 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 we ain't got nothing. But I'm going to be honest, with the ideas I have in mind... Pony Life can easily work, and I'm going to be honest, it's, it's a breath of fresh air 
especially on a network like Discovery Family that takes it way too safe. And let me just tell you, Unikitty and Trolls of Goes On, they take it safe every now and then, but the show the show definitely makes sure that there's there's stuff for older audiences too. So maybe maybe the show will be incredibly funny and shock a lot of people, and I, I kind of hope that's the case. The Unikitty and Trolls of Goes On are pretty slept on, so maybe this one won't be slept on and be as good as those shows. So anyway, I'm Speed Force Spectre. Hope you guys enjoy this video. I'm definitely going to review Pony Life when it comes out. Um, but uh, other than that, um, I don't think I'm going to be talking about MLP ever again because I know this video is going to be very controversial. So, uh, well, let's see how that goes in the comment sections down below.